Okay, starting with some fairly obvious stuff on simple thermostats. We've got this thermostat here, uh, and thermometers down here, temperature controls up here. You can see the little bar in there. Let me try to get closer on that. That's one thing about these uh, white riders I'm not real thrilled about uh, because of the older people have trouble viewing these things. Okay, you can see you move that back and forth, and I've got it hooked up to something, so it makes a noise. Um, obviously, uh, Celsius in the bottom, uh, and Fahrenheit in the top. Okay, inside these things, okay, there's a close-up of the switch. This is uh, called snap-action switch. As I turn the temperature down, it pops loose. As I turn it up, it pops over. All switches like this have to have some sort of a quick make so that they don't uh, arc. Not a lot of power going through it, but they still will arc. So there's a magnet right here. And when this bimetal gets close, the magnetism pulls it towards it. And then as the bimetal starts to move the other way, it just pops loose like that. I'm going to show you how these things, how the uh, bimetals work on these two. Okay, I pulled the bimetal out of a thermostat. Now this is a spiral wound bimetal. That's it's not a spring, even though if I do that, it does kind of act like a spring. It's a bimetal. There are two metals on it. Usually it's steel and copper. They put steel on one side and then bond to it copper on the other. So this, this metal here is actually the inside of it say copper and the outside of it is steel. They expand at different rates so when I warm it up or cool it down this little doohickey here is going to move back and forth because it gets longer on one side than it is on the other. The, the steel does not uh, expand as much for a given temperature change as the copper does. So it kind of unwinds or winds up. And I'll show you how it works by adding uh, a little bit of heat to this thing. You can see I've, I've heated one side of it, so it's kind of goofy. But okay. Now, as that cools, it's going to move back down. And if I haven't overheated it, it'll move back more or less to the same place it was before. The reason for the spiral, of course, is it makes a longer length of bimetal. And I'll stretch that silly thing out and we can take a look at uh, uh, what it looks like when it's all stretched out. Okay, here I've stretched this thing completely out. And it's about a foot long from here over to here. And that length, obviously I couldn't make a thermostat that was that long. Uh, so if I spiral it, that makes the length give you more accurate reading because it will move more for a given temperature change. So um, kind of cool. I'll uh, see if I can get some kind of close-ups of that uh, bimetal, probably not going to mean much, but a little something maybe. If you look there, you can see the copper. That's on one side of the bimetal. And if I turn it over, I've got steel. That is why it moves the little switch on it. Okay, another little quickie on these things. Okay, there's that same thermostat, and see those contacts? Okay, customer calls, says heat doesn't work. Uh, so you go out there, and the thermostat's all nice and turned up like that, but it's not working. And you just kind of touch there. 
and it starts working. Okay, occasionally they'll get enough dust inside there that they won't make contact because there's just a little wire coming here and then there's a wire here that goes to this side. So uh, when it pops on there like that, it may not make contact. So one of the things you can do is you get a little piece of cardboard Kind of take it and put it in there, close the contact, and you're back in business. Quick way to uh, get a thermostat going. Okay, this heating and cooling stat, the only difference between the first one I showed you and this one, by the way, these things all have covers on them. Don't lose the covers. Uh, this one's got two sets of contacts. Get a little closer there and you can see that better. Okay, so as the lever moves back and forth, it makes both ways. Clicks over here, clicks over there. The other one only had one set of contacts, but this has got a set of contacts here and a set of contacts there, so it could make for heating or cooling. Okay, this one here uh, essentially has the same thing. There's a set of contacts there. And as the lever moves back and forth, they go back and forth. Again, there's a magnet right here. Very simple little thermostats. These thermostats, even though they're very simple, are actually pretty pretty accurate and pretty dependable. Um, some of those things have been on the wall for many, many years, never get them in any trouble. No electronics in them. We've got some electronic ones over on the right. We'll talk about those in another video. Uh, I wanted to show you one more thermostat while I was here. Okay, this thermostat here, this is a Honeywell. Even though it says carrier, now this one has mercury bulbs. Now I'm going to show you how these mercury bulbs work. I'm going to be moving this lever up above, which is going to change the temperature. And you see that mercury? Okay, that's the snap action of mercury. There are some advantages to mercury switches because they're in this little bubble. It's a glass tube. And uh, so the contacts almost never get dirty. They're very good that way. Uh, because, and watch this again, you can see how it, it runs over and it actually moves the uh, that glass tube just a little tiny bit when it uh, goes over there. That is snap action because it moves fairly fast over there. Now this is two stage so that you can see and first stage is on the top. That's first stage. Second stage hasn't made. I move a little bit more second stage comes on. Okay, mercury bulb thermostats were very common throughout this industry for many, many years. Uh, they are gone now. For obvious reasons, mercury is not something we really want to use uh, because of uh, the hazardous nature of the material. And you're not supposed to dispose of those things in the trash. You're actually supposed to dispose of them as hazardous waste. No new thermostat has mercury in them. They use snap action, they use electronics, something like that. But uh, that's how the old uh, mercury bulb worked. This one here is actually a two stage. I was uh, moving the cool 
uh, switches so it's two stage cool and this one here is for heat because when I move the heat it moves and it moves exactly the same way the other one does so that's the mercury bulb thermostat uh, lots of them still in the wall out there but uh, no more